Hey guys, as we are fast approaching Baskar, I've chosen to cover this miracle that happens up to these days from the Ayu Stopus from the Holy Land. And also, I've also got a few other miracles from the Holy Land that I will bring up just in case you want to watch them. Just really quickly, I wanted to let you all know a massive thank you to each and every one of you that helps us monthly with our Kenyan Orphans, the feeding program. And if you want, I'll put the link below and you can see all the receipts um, of all the donations. We currently have eight parishes with feeding programs and all glory to God and to your generosity because without you, none of this would be possible. Also, we sent the first money, about a third of the money for the first church to ever be built in Africa, in Kenya, of Saint Ephraim of Neamakri. So if anyone can help us with the construction of that church, which also will be the diocese for the bishop there. So as I said, today's miracle has to do with our Lord Jesus Christ and the imprint of Jesus Christ's palm which up to this day has a fragrant smell. So after the soldiers had tortured our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, they made him carry his cross towards Golgotha. He was tortured and wounded, and our Lord was falling over every five to ten steps. His sweated palm left its imprint on one of these rocks. Right there, where he knelt, and the weight of the cross fell on him. Up to this day, the rock smells of that beautiful fragrant smell. People that have gone there have said that if you dare to put your finger or your whole hand on the surface, you soon realise that the source of this fragrant heavenly smell comes from the imprint of Jesus' palm. When your hand makes contact, it is like it is glued on the palm of Christ and it does not want to lose any kind of touch with this divine palm. He was right here when he felt dizzy. Then in that case, what you see right in front of you is the left hand print of Jesus. The energy of it is so strong. Just imagine from the days of Jesus Christ up to now, you can smell that beautiful fragrant smell. A similar instance also happens at the prison of Jesus Christ, where you see Mir coming out of the rock where Jesus was chained to, which is located in Jerusalem, near the Panagiotaf or the Holy Sepulchral. During the footage, you can also hear women chanting but yet, there were no chanters or anyone else in the prison of Christ apart from the four pilgrims where the footage comes from. Also in Golgotha, many pilgrims have reported the sound of whipping of chains, Jesus breathing heavily, even the sound of his cross being dragged by him as he's getting whipped, his heart beating and also wind. So this amazing miracle, you can hear all these things that I mentioned in the video. Of course, let's not forget the beautiful miracle that happens only to Orthodox. And that, of course, is the holy light in Jerusalem at the Panagio Tafo. And it's this video here. It's the very first video that I filmed on the channel. And again, all these links will be below. We also have another few miracles nearby. For example, we have the miracle where we have caught on camera that Jesus Christ is weeping and he closes and opens his eyes. And this took place in Bethlehem Cove at the unshakable icon of Jesus Christ. And of course, all these links will be below. We also have the yearly miracle nearby at the Jordan River where like when Jesus Christ got baptized and when he entered the river, the flow reversed. Similar, 
Every single year during the feast day of Theophania, the flow of the river reverses. And we have this caught on camera in this video. Another miracle that takes place every single year is when we celebrate the transfiguration of Jesus Christ at Mount Tabor. And around the time when Holy Communion comes out, a miraculous cloud appears out of nowhere. And in this video, we do actually have footage of this cloud hovering above the believers in the crowd. Our Christian Orthodox faith is alive. We are the church that Jesus and his holy apostles established. We are truly blessed because these miracles take place to us Orthodox. And let's not forget the true meaning of Easter. Let's teach our kids. It is not about the Easter bunny, the chocolate, and take them away from actually uh, celebrating the true meaning of Easter. And of course, that is the death, the suffering and death on the cross of our Lord and Savior, his holy resurrection for each and every one of us. So please, this Easter at 12 o'clock, when we sing Christos Anesti, straight after that, do not leave the church. Because as it says in, um, in the Bible that the priest reads from, that the enemies of Christ, after Christ resurrected, they vanished. And that's exactly what, unfortunately, um, what some of us Orthodox tend to do. Straight after we get the holy light, we disappear and go home to eat. Or so we can go out or because we have things the next day. But unfortunately, that is probably, please don't do that. Go inside, partake of the first service, which is the service straight after the resurrection. Take Holy Communion. Our Lord does not ask much from each and every one of us. So thank you all for watching. And the next video I'll be making will be in two weeks. And that will be... The time for that is because I need to spend some time uh, at my parish as well. So after that, I'll be making a video after Easter Sunday. So God bless you all. And as an unworthy sinner that I am, I pray for you all morning and night. Thank you and take care.